Hello guys, so this video is a review of the Nespresso Pumpkin Spice Cake, uh, the latest capsules for Nespresso original line. So this is how the packaging looks like. And the capsule is an orange color capsule and it's very plain without any design. For the tasting part, I'm going to start with the espresso. I also have made one version of a lungo because that is what Nespresso recommends this coffee to be head like. So let's start with espresso, which is something that I use all the time. The coffee looks thick, it has a nice crema on top, it has a smell that doesn't taste like pumpkin. So if you're thinking that oh this is gonna taste like pumpkin, this is not that coffee. It smells like cinnamon and nutmeg. Yeah, I can only feel this very strong taste of cinnamon and nutmeg. It's not an unpleasant uh, smell. Yeah, it's very aromatic and almost floral. It has a medium to low acidity, meaning it's going to taste nice. Uh, I don't mind it. Yeah, it's not a bad espresso, but if you're someone looking for unflavored coffee this is not for you this has a very strong flavor it doesn't have any sugar it's not sweetened but it has a strong cinnamon flavor so next i'm going to taste it as an lungo so let's see if it is better as a lungo or as an espresso hmm. yeah i'm getting the same smell obviously it's the same coffee cinnamon and i feel the nutmeg here is more pronounced it's like less cinnamon more nutmeg flavor and more floral mm. surprisingly when it's a brood as a lungo it's less bitter um it's very smooth yeah it's smooth and smooth and aromatic i would say I actually prefer it as a lungo now that I have compared both but I still haven't had it with milk so let's try that version first I'm going to add some milk almond milk unsweetened to my espresso it's about 50 50 ratio so this is how it looks like it looks like it's uh, more watery than a regular espresso mm. Wow. Okay, the milk changes the taste. I can still feel the cinnamon, but the taste is more bready. It's like a biscuit, like a dried biscuit that's almost yeasty in flavor. So I'm not a big fan of this right now. Maybe let's see if we add some sweetener. <laughs> Will it taste like Starbucks? So here I have a hazelnut syrup. Uh, this is not my favorite, but if you have vanilla, you can use that better. Uh, this is the only sweetener that I have right now. So, mm. yeah, that's the Starbucks pumpkin latte taste. Very sweet. Um, it's not to my liking, but I think if you like Starbucks, you're going to like this one as well. It's just how much sweetener you use that's up to you. So, when I have a last sip before I add some a dash of milk let's just try it like that mm. the flavor is not bad it's it's still overwhelmingly spicy <laughs> and cinnamony so but i still prefer it as a black coffee as a lungo so once you add milk i feel the flavor changes and it has other notes like nutty biscuity it's a totally different flavor so if, if it washes out this beautiful spicy aroma so overall my review for this one it's a 6.5 out of 10 
it's not one of the greatest capsules that I would continuously purchase from Nespresso, but it's something that if you feel to have something different, something with a bit of flavor, and you're not into vanilla or caramel or sweetened coffee, you can definitely enjoy this as a black coffee without any sugar and it's just something something different yeah so i recommend you to try it let me know your thoughts and make sure you subscribe for more videos like this and um share with me in the comments what's your favorite coffee from nespresso 